Hi, this is Gary Kay. We're coming to you live day two of ISC 2013, and I'm joined by Damian Weissenberger. Damian Weissenberger is the business head for Sony Europe. Yes, indeed. I'm the uh, business head for the presentation and communication business uh, for uh, all European countries. Well, what else is there? <laughs> this presentation is exactly what we're here to talk about, so well, you're the perfect person to talk to. I hope so. So, uh, <laughs> what are your questions and how can I help? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well, first of all, how was 2014 for Sony Europe? Well, for Sony Europe, I think it was a pretty good year, I think, for us. I think we've been introducing already last year kind of uh, a couple of new technologies, particularly laser, I think, which was the first time we did that last year. 4K actually has been one of the other words as well, which we've been working on for quite a few years, and I think we've made quite good progress, I think, in uh, 2014. Yeah, and, for, and 14 it seemed to be a good, good year for Sony overall, actually. Uh, what about the ISC show this year in 2015? The traffic that you've seen so far, is it giving you a good indication of how, th how this year is going to go for you? Well, it's pretty pretty great, actually. I was talking to the, um, to the board of ISC uh, this morning, and uh, they've seen, actually, a further increase again on the attendance. We were 26,000 people yesterday here. Uh, obviously, we felt also the, the increase in traffic uh, of a uh, number of people and the quality of people that we're seeing here, and so it's uh, pretty tremendous, actually. Yeah, I think they, they're all expecting to break the record. So that's, we'll see if that happens, right? Well, I, think will. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. Um, so tell me, what are you focused on at this year's ISE 2015? What product categories are you mostly right. focusing on? Well, we'd like to keep continuity here. I think, you know, we just started on the journey on the projection side, I think, with uh, laser particularly. So I think we're introducing a whole range of new uh, new uh, laser projectors here. We've been very successful. I mean, selling uh, the uh, 4,000 anti-lumen projector, we've achieved a 65% market share in the last quarter on laser technology uh, on the uh, installation range. And now we're bringing 5,000, 6,000, have already 7,000 as well. So you see, we're getting very serious, I think, with laser and uh, the market share, I think, as well, demonstrate that we're doing things right. Yeah, it, the first time I saw a laser uh, in an actual practical product was in the Sony booth a couple of years ago, I believe it has been now. Uh, it was a prototype, but uh, it has come a long way. And that's amazing, 65% market share. I did not know that it was that high. Congratulations on that. Well, yeah, I think it's, uh, what is also, I think, uh, interesting to notice is that I think 40% of our sales in the installation range is now actually laser as well. So I think uh, we see really customers, you know, being very happy with our approach. In other words, it was, we didn't want to compromise on picture quality and the detriment of something else. So we kept the picture quality, brought laser in it and gave now, I mean, all the benefits of laser around maintenance, lamp free and so on. Um, and, you know, we got the results. Now, last year, I think a lot of people have been asking, you know, our customer ready for laser. Well, I mean, I'm here now a year after. And, and, and there are actually so universities, larger corporates. I mean, have been originally testing laser uh, in smaller volumes, and uh, now they're rolling out. I think throughout their campuses or throughout their corporations, actually, uh, that uh, that technology. So we're very pleased with that, and uh, that gives us even further energy to continue and accelerate the uh, the development of the products. That's good. I, I did not realize that. That's it. These are some good statistics to have. What about 4K? Is it still is that still your focus as far as resolution? Well, yes, I think uh, well, 4K was in the company. I mean, throughout, I think, our consumer departments at CES, where 4K was clearly obviously there. I think in our professional department, in our work we do with the broadcasters and our D cinema side as well, where 4K, I think, obviously went through. We're seeing this now as well, getting into corporations as well. Uh, you know, we have flat panel uh, 4K models, which are coming uh, through very... Uh, uh, importantly now in the market as well. We got introduced to our 4K player as well, which is very important because uh, customers are always looking for a full value chain and when one bit is missing, that doesn't work. So that's why we're working on content, distribution, the players, and of course the display as well. So that's actually something that's very important for us too. Well, I mean, everyone knows Sony, uh, but and, and everyone knows about Sony.com, but I'm sure Europe has its own dedicated URL. Is it SonyEurope.com? Uh, no, yes, yeah, exactly. Sony-Europe.com, yeah. Okay, Sony-Europe.com. Um, I really appreciate you joining me. I know that you're really busy, and uh, I know that you, to take special time out just to talk to us is, uh, is a special thing. We recognize that. And this is a great interactive display. This behind me is really neat. You draw a fish. And, and it'll put your fish up there in the aquarium, whatever you draw. So you can make it a shark or whatever you want. Have you, draw, have you, have you, drawn a, have you taken time to I'm do it? I'm really bad at drawing, but I'd like you to show you how, you, how to do that. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm terrible at drawing, too. We need to get, maybe we need to get a couple of the camera people to do the drawing. But uh, best of luck to you for 2015. Congratulations on a beautiful-looking boot. I, you're, you're one of my favorite booths in the entire show. I love the oh, look of this much. concrete. The pigeons. Do you have the pigeons this year? I didn't notice them. Last year, yeah. the pigeons were hidden. Do you have them this year? <laughs> Well, I haven't checked it actually, but uh, last year indeed we had him there. I think they're probably no longer alive. I love the pigeons, but uh, but in any case, thank you very much for your time. This is Gary Kay. We're going to keep walking around the show floor and shooting more videos. Thanks for watching.